Okay, folks, I'm literally in an old shed here. I found it in the woods. It's fallen down. And I just, uh, looking through the rubble here. I just pulled this one here out from down underneath there. It's a cherry rocher, rocher, from uh, Made in France, it says on the bottom. So that's kind of cool. Oh, and there's a porcupine. I'm glad he's going the other way. But I uh, dug this out of here too. Some sort of scale. I don't think I'll take it. I'll leave it. I might come back here in the spring when I can see a little bit better. But anyways, I just thought I'd show that bottle. It's pretty cool. Okay, onward. Good day folks. I'm just out exploring around today. Uh, this is more or less just for my own personal reference for the future, this video. So I like to log these locations so I don't forget about them. Well, you can see uh, this area here caught my attention. It looks like there was, it's an old area. Look at these great big old trees here. Anyways, uh, this here is a big depression in the ground here. It looks like a might have been a cellar hole at one point. And uh, right behind me over here, we'll take a look at this one. Thorn bushes. There's always thorn bushes around. Yeah. Come in here. Check this one here out. Nice stone one. I don't know how good this is coming up on the camera, but. Yeah, nice old stone foundation and there's a bunch of debris here too buckets and cans and stuff I don't know how old it is but obviously this cellar hole is quite old probably back to the 1800s so I'm gonna look around this area like I say feel free to like and comment and share or dislike it if you want it's up to you this like I say this is more or less just for my own personal reference and, uh, anyways, if I find anything, I'll get you back up on. Over and out. Check it out. Glass stopper. Take that one. There's an early screw top. Consumer glass mark on the bottom. There's a broken. Broken cork top. I would imagine this place has picked pretty hard over the years. So I don't expect to find too much here. But uh, I'll keep looking around anyways. Pulled up an interesting little amber bottle. It's got lots of bubbles in the glass. Not real old though, it's a screw top. Gonna hang on to it anyways, clean it up a bit. Okay, over and out. Hey folks, I'm standing here at a pretty good spot for uh, view wise. If I look up over the bank here, See if I can find it in the camera. It's right, where am I at? Right up in there somewhere is a, uh, looks like an old barrel. And there's a piece of metal right in there. There's another piece over in there. 
great big old tree up in there. Let me get back out here. Right up in there. there might have been a house site there. There's a big pine tree and look over there. There's a building up in there. Let me zoom in there. I think you, oh, I think you can see that right there. Over that way. Of course we have what looks to be an old pier of some sort. Looks like something right up in the woods there too. So uh, I'm going to look around here and oh, there's a galvanized bucket right up in there. I just spot it and we'll see if I can uh, locate anything. If I do, I'll get you back up on over and out. Well, folks, this is definitely a dump site. You can see I was just down over the bank there looking up there and there's that uh, building way over across the way there. And I found some glass up on that little bank there but it's broken and frozen in the ground so I couldn't get it out to have a good look at it. Here's a uh, set of concrete steps under the snow here. Looks like it's they've been dumped here. There's some more metal up and through there. Look, there's a an old in the light. There's an old bucket there, some sort. Deer tracks. Apple trees up through there. Deer like apple trees. See if I see anything else in here before. I take off, church bells ringing, I don't know if you can hear those, Sunday, there's a piece of glass right there, it's frozen in, looks like it's a whole bottle though too. No, I'm not going to get that out. Looks like it's probably from the 40s or 50s. Alright, I'm going to shut you off for now and I'll get you back up in a bit. Okay, so I managed to get that bottle out. And it probably is from the 40s or 50s, maybe the 30s. I would say 40s or 50s though. But anyways, I'll chalk this up as a spot to come back in the spring. There might be some uh, deeper stuff. Some older stuff deeper down okay so i'm just scouting around today anyways and uh i'll keep looking around and get you back up on the next uh, interesting find over and out i moved some rocks here folks and i see uh some milk glass down in here and it might be whole so i thought i'd get you up on while i pull it out uh. Rooster. Milk glass rooster. How old do you think that is? There's some other there too. Well, I'll keep looking around. Catch you later. We got another bottle showing folks. There's that uh, rooster there, it's pulled out. And here's a, looks like a square medicine bottle or something right here. Let's see what that is. Yeah, broke. No embossing on it. Cover. All right, onward. Well, no good real luck here yet, folks, but uh, that might be worth detecting down, metal detecting down on that beach line there. Yep. Nice view from here. Well, it looked to be a building up in there. There's actually just a concrete wall. There's a couple of them there, but uh, no building to investigate. 
There's an old metal sluice of some sort right in here. A big one. Must have been some sort of uh oh, there's a big roller in there. Must have been some sort of mill or whatever up here. There's that big sluice in there. See the back of it up there. There it is there. The shoreline all here too. There's where that debris was up in there. I came in over on that side and walked up the shoreline and around. Alright, I'll keep poking around.